Rishad Barrow and I'm here with the CEO of Self Made Studios and we inside BEX Audio right now. So um, a little history on myself. Um, I'm a musician, a uh, steel pan player to be exact. Trying to be not actually I guess I try doing other vocals as well with any mix. Um, love music, love percussion, love vibes of anything make a little move and thing you know? um history wise i've been playing the steel pan for since i was five years old um 25 right now um steel pan has been life yo like for real that was the main reason i was able to have a foundation within music and even have the chance you know so large up steel pan the only instrument to be created in the 20th century is phenomenal instrument, phenomenal sound, you understand? And is a treasure, you know, absolute treasure. Trinities understand what they have a treasure. You understand? Everybody just be coasting on pan hey boy. Pan boy the load. Outside with all you could go in the bush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um I mean Coming up, I had a lot of different experiences. My experiences were always based in a group setting. Um, I would say I was bred and groomed by the Golden Hand Steel Orchestra. Um, my first, very first pan teacher was a dude from the Dixieland Pan Academy. Um, really, really technically gifted um, player. His name was Curtis Peer. Um, really did shape at least my early technique and, and all of that and then when I was eight I moved to the, the Golden Hand Steel Orchestra and that was the beginning of a uh, absolutely beautiful experience I mean it had its hard and hard parts as well but is an experience I would never ever take for granted and an experience that I I mean I totally owe my whole probably mindset and different things to, to that band and to the leader of the band, Miss Franca Hills Headley. Um, we had so much different gigs and stuff. I mean, since I was small, I remember playing. My first big concert was I was in boys' school, probably in Standard 3 or something like that, performed for the school's concert. And um, I think from then, it, 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 it actually moved like so natural, it wasn't even even a, a, a second thought on how to necessarily express myself via music and I guess even from then it just seemed natural like right now there's nothing else I think I could be doing I can't see myself in working for anybody in any office because they will fire me within the first week because I will not be doing any people then work I might be doing God knows what maybe on YouTube or something <laughs> The, I won the under 19 steel pan instrument, the best instrumentalist for three consecutive music festivals um, from I think it was like 2004, 2006 and 2008 or it could be different years, I don't know. Um, I was also the national under 16 music festival junior festival champion in 2006. I think it was, um, I mean, steel pan has allowed me to see um, so many different parts of this world um, is something that I mean I'm grateful to God for to have the opportunity to even be on a stage and represent Trinidad and Tobago and be in a place to you know do that just just give myself in that aspect. 
some of my inspirations um, locally I was inspired by you know Kitchener for his vibes to create music on the level that he did he was absolutely amazing <laughs> You will hear pound in the minor With a steel band from all over Um, all the Kaisonians that, that was out here, I mean I grew up Can't help anything, Marshall You understand the vibes, the, the, the push I mean in the steel pan community, my first um, person that I actually looked onto and was blown away by was Liam T I mean, I had all his CDs. I used to try to do all his stuff from, from since I was small. And then um, Clive Bradley with his arrangements with Despos. Um, when it comes to tenor as well, in class with Liam Teague, um, uh, when first time I heard Duvon Stewart play, I was like, what the mother? You understand? He's absolutely phenomenal, yo. And these guys have left a, 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 a legacy at least even thus far within their early you know even though they, they they're present right now now is their time man i mean it's something i hope to, to to walk in and i hope to inspire young persons who coming up as well into this to to to, to reach for greatness by trying to push myself to the limits you know it's all i love from from ever since i i can't see this whole music thing working out for any of us if we don't have that love and uh camaraderie and understanding that as far as one of us goes the other goes as well so that's what it's about um, um being on my vocal grind um should do a little sing song for you a little sing song i'll <laughs> 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 oh, get some clips <laughs> Um, one of the things about me is I don't think I, I was I was always led in the direction to try new things because of how certain things was it's almost as if you I was boxed in in some in some aspects and I mean I had I have so much avenues of different things I would like to explore but I guess the fact that there was no one there in certain times to say yo you could you could do that yo that's that's good yo try try that or you know the fact that it might seem because I might have be a pan man or whatever, not necessarily supposed to venture outside. It always seemed like it had a fence sometimes, but I think I, I, I over the fact that there are no boundaries in this life, and basically anything you want to do or wish to do with yourself, you could do because I mean, as earlier asked, why? Who's who, who is to stop you? Who is to say you can't do this or do that? So my main thing right now is to really get into myself and bring out some of the emotions and, and feelings I have on my perspectives for, for certain things which will come out in my writing and really want to focus in on me as an individual and my experiences with living and growing up in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, the term self-made is really understanding as you say self, knowing your strengths and the main aspect to really know yourself is your mind being in control of your mind once you're in control of your mind you're in control of everything I mean flesh flesh is one thing I mean we just you know but you have your mind and being able to balance out and center yourself is 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 a real plus self media be original be yourself be expressive Hold no fear, hold no fear, and just do the damn thing, you know. <laughs> you know? Express yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I am Richard Barrow, and I am self-made.